Hi, I'm Steve Nickerson, team leader of One Home Colorado. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the winning strategies that we're using right now in today's market to help our buyers win in competitive situations. So right now, the key is with working with our buyers in this competitive market is that we position you so that the seller sees the buyer as a risk-free option because the last thing a seller wants is a deal that's going to fall apart a week before the closing. So with us positioning you and making sure that we communicate you is the most logical choice amongst all these other buyers is the key to getting you at the top of the list. Still, price is going to matter. Like Just because you're the most risk-free, if you're 10000 short, I can't do anything about that. You're probably going to lose that situation. However, if you're risk-free, I've had clients where we've been $5,000 less than the highest offer, but because we were able to position them, they could get they got the deal because they were seen as the most logical choice and the one that's going to make it to the closing table. And that's what the seller most concerns about. Because it starts really knowing your financial options. So one of the things that we do with our buyers right now is we're positioning them as cash buyers. We have a financial partner that we we work with that will basically give you the cash so you can be a cash buyer. It costs you nothing, you just use them as a mortgage. And so that's been very helpful at getting our deals accepted because the risk, again, getting back to that risk situation, is there's less risk with that cash offer. The second thing is, really it's about you being informed. It's about making sure that you understand like what the competition is doing, because if we're up against eight other offers, most likely there's gonna be appraisal gap coverage, there's gonna be inspections that are really tight in terms of their timing, but also that they're not willing to um, object they're they're saying that they'll take the house as is they just want to do an inspection for their per, for their information purposes um, and then deposits so I have a one of our techniques that's been very successful is we've been doubling the deposit and then going hard money after the inspection which guarantees that the seller if you don't close they're going to keep your deposit I have not had a client lose a deposit 32 years in real estate that's never happened to me ever However, we do position it so that the seller feels better about it. So there are still some things we want to be sure of before we go hard money, um, but it is one thing that will certainly help our buyers get over the hump and be seen as the logical choice. The next step is communication. So the key with us with communication is it starts with us connecting with the listing agent. And so I've been in real estate a really long time. I know most of the listing, the big listing agents around town and they know me. So they know that my deals make it to the closing table. They can look us up and see that our track record. So I make sure that we're in a, a very good communication and that they see us as a logical choice because of the experience that our team helps with our buyers and makes it easier for the listing agent. All right, so there's one more key point and that's the timing and how that we position, part of that positioning process is that we find out what the seller really wants in their timing. And typically what's best for the seller is a quick closing that gives them some time after closing to move out. And that could be anywhere from five days to 60 days or even longer. And when we're able to do that, that gives a seller peace of mind. And that just adds to the process of making you the more logical buyer. And the other thing is the timing of the deposit. So I mentioned hard money deposit earlier. And by that, I mean it's non-refundable. So we set that timing so we do the inspection and then we do it quick. So that's another thing that sellers like to see is a fast inspection. And oftentimes what I'll do with a buyer is we're presenting the offer. I'll go ahead and I'll set the inspection with one of our inspector partners before we even have the offer accepted so that when I present the offer that we're doing the inspection in two or three days. And then that way, if there's any issues, we know about it up front and the seller knows they're not going to be stretched out a week. And then after that, if we do decide to do the hard money, that non-refundable deposit, then that money becomes non-refundable that much quicker, thus making the seller see our buyers as the most logical choice and the one that presents the least amount of risk to their transaction.